Hello guys and welcome back to the FE exam review series where I cover the most common FE problems that you need to know to pass your FE exam. In today's video, we'll be covering a heat transfer section problem, specifically under part E, heat exchangers. So let's dive in. Oh yeah, now before we get started, I have an announcement for those of you guys who are taking FE Mechanical. So we recently launched part of the Afternoon Mechanical course. So if you are interested, make sure to check out our courses at geniprep.com. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. In a manufacturing plant, a counterflow double pipe heat exchanger is being utilized to cool down a lubricating oil. Now, the oil enters the heat exchanger at 95 degrees Celsius and is cooled down to 55 degrees Celsius using water as the coolant. The water enters the exchanger at 20 degrees Celsius and exits at 45 degrees Celsius. And we want to determine the log mean temperature difference for the heat exchanger. Now, something guys to note is that in the heat exchanger, we have a temperature difference between the two fluids, the hot and the cold, and it varies from the inlet to the outlet. Now, to account for this variation in the temperature difference that's more accurate than just taking a simple average, we usually calculate for the log mean temperature difference. And once we determine the log mean temperature difference, then we can actually solve for the rate of heat transfer for the heat exchanger, okay? Now, we don't need to worry about the rate of heat transfer in this problem, we just need to calculate for the log mean temperature difference. Now, to determine the log mean temperature difference, the first thing you guys need to do is go to the reference manual, go to the heat transfer section, and their convection, right? There's a section there for heat exchangers, and then you will see the equation there. Now, just be careful because there are two equations, okay? one for counterflow and one for parallel flow. In this problem, we have counterflow, so make sure that you guys grab the right equation. The next thing is, be careful when you guys are plugging the numbers into the equation, okay? So remember, we have two fluids here. We have a hot fluid, which is the lubricating oil, okay? Which we are cooling down using water, so the water would be the cold fluid, okay? So with that, why don't you guys go ahead and pause this video, give it a try, make sure that you guys Solve these problems, it's very important. It's gonna help you to understand the concepts better and also remember them for your FE exam. So give it a try and I will see you guys in a little bit. By the way, guys, if you are enjoying this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely. And also, if you haven't downloaded our cheat sheet yet, make sure that you guys do. You can find it here. It has really important equations and concepts that you need to know for your FE exam. And for whatever reason, if you don't receive it in your email, make sure that you guys email us and we'll send it to you. Now, to solve for this problem, the first thing we got to do is go to the reference menu and take a look at the equation. So here, under heat transfer, we have two equations here for the log mean temperature difference, one for counterflow and one for parallel flow. Of course, we're going to use the first equation because in the problem, we have a counterflow, okay? Now, something guys to keep in mind is that H here stands for hot fluid, okay? O stands for outlet, and then C stands for cold fluid, and then I stands for inlet, okay? So the other thing too I would like to mention is that, remember guys how in the intro video I mentioned that once we determine the log mean temperature difference, then we determine the rate of heat transfer. So this is the equation that we actually use to solve for the rate of heat transfer in heat exchanger, okay? Now, again, we don't need to worry about this for this problem, but it's just something to keep in mind, okay? Now let's go ahead and solve for the log mean temperature difference. Now, I would like to share with you guys this picture here. So what we have here is the heat exchanger for a counterflow, okay? Very important, very different from a parallel flow, okay? Now, note guys here, we have the hot fluid, okay? So this here, it's going to be THI, right? Because it's the inlet hot fluid, that's the oil, okay? And this here is going to be the THO, right? So that's the outlet for the hot fluid. Okay, and then here we have the cold water. So the cold water is gonna cool the oil. So this is going to be TCI, because that's the inlet of the cold fluid. And then here we're gonna have TCO, because that's the outlet of the cold fluid, okay? So now let's go ahead and just plug in the numbers into the equation, okay? And by the way, guys, if you want more FE mechanical problems, make sure to comment FE mechanical in the comment section below, okay? Now here, what we're gonna have is THO, so that's going to be 55, okay? And then we're gonna do minus TCI, 
which is going to be 20. Then we have minus THI, which is 95, and then minus TCO, which is 45. And then we're going to divide this whole thing by the natural log, okay, of this. So note, guys, here what we have. So this term here is the same thing as this term, and this term is exactly the same thing as this term, okay? So we don't even need to look at these variables. We can just plug in these because it's the same thing, right? So here we're going to have 55 minus 20, okay? And then the bottom, we're just going to have 95 minus 45, okay? So this is just a small little tip, right? It's going to help you to be just slightly faster during your exam, okay? The other thing you can also do to just be a little bit faster is you can plug in the numbers in your calculator. So for this term here, if you do 55 minus 20, that's going to give you 35. And then you could do minus, then 95 minus 45, that's going to give you 50. And then you're going to divide it by what? So it's going to be natural log of 35 over 50, right? Because again, it's the same, this term is the same as this term, and then this term is the same as this term, okay? Now, if you guys plug in these numbers in your calculator, you're going to get 42 degrees Celsius. So now if we take a look at the multiple choice, the answer is going to be C. Now, one thing I would like to add is that if you guys take a look at the reference manual, you might notice that the temperature here, it says that it needs to be in Kelvin, okay? And you might be wondering, why we didn't do that in the problem when we solved it. We kept all the temperatures in Celsius. The reason that is, is because of a couple of reasons. So first, we wanted the temperature in Celsius, okay? And so we kept everything in Celsius. Now, even if we did want the answer in Kelvin, I would recommend that you guys solve this problem in Celsius, okay? And then at the end, just add 273 to get the Kelvin. That's going to save you so much more time than having to convert every temperature here to Kelvin. Now, I hope you guys found this video helpful. We are going to post another heat transfer problem. So make sure that you guys like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you guys don't miss out on any future videos. Now, if you are currently studying for your FE exam and you are looking for some good study resources that will help you pass your FE exam faster, make sure to check out our courses at jennyprep.com. Our courses have helped so many students pass the FE exam. And before you go, make sure that you guys check out this playlist here that has over 100 FE problems that will help you with your FE preparation. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great productive week and I will see you guys on the next video. À la prochaine. Oh, yeah.